Hey guys, this is Will from NC Alarms and you're seeing a video in the field of me working. So we're doing a fit up of a place that used to be a brewery and it's now turning into two separate fit ups. Um, all the necks are on this power supply here, which is pretty easy. We've got it resistored out here because we're, I've got my coworker demoing back that circuit and this is just to keep the panel quiet. Until we're done doing the demolition, then we'll move that end of line resistor to the first field to the uh, last field device on NAC one <clears throat> anyway and up here you can see I have all the NACs and the remote sync disconnected so nothing is going to trip if the SLC trips I've been in the process of removing smoke heads smoke and heat detectors so I'm going to scroll through here um, and you're going to be able to see the troubles in the system and let you guys see them so our first trouble here is remote sync fault then we have NAC4 and NAC1, which was the order in which I disconnected those NAC circuits. <clears throat> All right, then I've got a heat detector, heat detector, heat detector, and a smoke detector. So we have to remove these from the program. They're not going back in. So I've got de detector 32, 31, 20, and 30. So let's hit mode for program. Hit two for programming, and this is where we try the default password. If that doesn't work, you use your back door. It does work, beautiful. Okay, let's go to two for point program. Let's hit one for detector, two for delete. All right, and here's where you have to be very, very sure you don't make any mistakes. Let's start with the lowest number and work to the highest number. So 20 is zero, two, zero. It is deleted, okay. Escape. Now let's do 30. Zero, three, zero is deleted. Zero, three, one is deleted. And zero, three, two is now deleted. So with that information all said and done, let's escape all the way out and let it save its configuration. I'm going to acknowledge the troubles and I'm going to wait. Now this is a notifier NFW2100, but you can see it is actually a 9200 UDLS. Um, panel protocol is light, quote, light speed. Um, flash scan type thing. Um, it's not flash scan because it's polling in red. It's not clip because the panel's not programmed for clip. It's light speed. so. For those of you who don't know, Notifier makes two different um, types of these pull stations. And let me get my keys out and I'm going to open this up and show it to you. This is a Notifier NOT VG12LX. There is also a Notifier N VG12LX. And some of my coworkers have asked me over the time, why is there a difference between NOT and N VG12LX? I've had to explain to them it's because there's two different lines of panels, two different protocols that Notifier uses. Notifier uses the Firelight protocol for these NOTs, and they use their own Notifier Flash Scan protocol for the NBG 12 LXs. Now, they are not UL listed to work on the other's panels, and these NOT BG 12 LXs, they will not work on an Onyx panel, but the NBG 12 LXs will work on this panel, but they are not UL listed to do so. So I, I don't recommend anybody uh, using those professionally on a system. For a demo system, it's okay. It's just not ideal. And you shouldn't be using Firelight VG12LXs on this either because it has a separate UL number. Um, also, I didn't mount this. None of my coworkers mounted this, but come on. <laughs> That was already existing in the building, so it looks like I have no more troubles coming in on the panel, just my neck faults, so I think my programming is done. So, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to make this panel normal and see where I go from there. Alright, have a good day, guys.